guys! So today I am going to get my hair done. Thank goodness because look at this. Like this is... I'm not blonde, I'm gray apparently. Anyway, so I am going to get my hair done by my girlfriend today. I'm wicked excited and I'm also going to show you all the things that I ate in the day. Starting with my bulletproof coffee, of course, because it's delicious. And we're going to talk about peeing on a stick. Woohoo! Aren't you guys excited to pee on a stick? You should be, especially if you're on the keto diet. lunchtime yet but I'm getting kind of hungry so I'm going to make myself a um, protein shake and probably add some blueberries to it so yeah I just uh, it's like 10 15 but I've been up kind of early and getting a lot of things done and I'm just kind of hungry so I'm gonna make a shake real quick and show you what I put in it talking about the keto the ketone test strips ah. um, I want to say there's 125 in this little container it says 120 but it also says it gives you five free anyway I want to say it was like under ten dollars for this little thing right here and on this side the colors so I just recently used one and do, 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 I'm right about, I'm in between the trace and then the small amount. So in between 0.5 and 1.5. Um, I don't, I used to test my ketones probably daily for like the first two weeks, mostly because it's fun to pee on a stick. Duh. And I like things that change color. <laughs> No, I um, I was checking it out because I wanted to see every little thing that I was eating and I wanted to see whether or not um, if I had eaten a slice of bread that day, did it change, like, did it change my ketones? And I was noticing for myself, it was helping me get an idea of what level of ketones, uh, I'm sorry, what level of carbs I could have before I started noticing a difference in the ketones. So when I first started, and I first started checking in at, I was actually right here. I was in the section that they said, contact your doctor right away. Um, and I realized, oh wow, okay, I'm not eating any carbs. I can probably add some carbs to my diet. So I started having some carbs and I would eat um, like a slice of bread with avocado all over it and things like that. And I finally started getting right into the middle zone here and um, and that's, you know, it says moderate, it's 4.0, so, but I was at like 16, and uh, I don't really know much about that, because I'm not a doctor, but when it says at the very bottom, you know, a dangerous level of ketones, which will require immediate medical care, talk to your doctor immediately. Yeah. I think that day I went and ate two pieces of bread. That's a doctor, right? 
So anyway, um, so yeah, so this is what it is today. I've probably, let me see, I recently cooked dinner for somebody and I had made pasta because this person was a, um, well, this person eats meat, so, and I did not cook meat, no, no, but I just figured I better not make him something as lame as the shit that I eat, like, for instance, cauliflower and broccoli in a bowl with seasoning. It doesn't sound so attractive to somebody else. So I figured I might, you know, actually make something interesting and filling, which I did. And so I, of course, had some myself, and it kind of brought me down a little bit, but that's all right. The scale didn't say any differently, so it was, I was good to go. But um, my point with the sticks, the keto sticks, and I like to test them so I can get an idea if I can have more grams of carbs or if I need to have less grams. So as it stands right now, I probably need to have less. Uh, just so I can get back into the moderate section because that's of course where you lose the most weight or at least I have lost the most weight when I'm when I'm sitting at that medium pink color order what you want I know my sister had purchased the one that tests your blood and I hear that that one's like the absolute most accurate however the machine is already like I want to say like 50 or 60 dollars and it doesn't come with any ketone strips and you can't use these ketone strips with it the ketone strips for like 10 is like $40. So this for me all day long, I don't care. As long as this and the scale and my clothes are all showing signs of change to for like the better, under $10. Um, so yeah, that's how you pee on a stick and can tell whether or not you're in ketosis. Isn't that exciting? Don't I excite you people? Giving you great information like this? So exciting. Alright, that's it for me. I gotta go get my hair done because it looks like... Well... It doesn't look good. I mean, I guess it would be okay if it was like silver all the way down. But I look like an old lady, so I'm gonna lighten it up and do some funky stuff. Anyway. That's it. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm here with my friend Corey who does my hair. Are you going to say hi? hi? She said she wouldn't say hi earlier. Okay, <laughs> well anyway, this is the inspiration she wants to do in my hair today. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. So the girl's got dark roots. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we're going to try it, see what happens, and uh... You guys will be the one to judge later. Yay! It's gonna be awesome. She's a lady. <laughs> All right, so here's the result. And very I love it. It's very, very blonde. Oh shit, who's that black lady? <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, we gotta go eat some food. We're both very, very hungry, so bye. Okay, so this is going to be my dinner. I ended up using about a half a bag of angel hair coleslaw and then a full avocado, which is slightly cut up in here. Like that. Anyway, and then I personally absolutely love um, this dressing. There's only two carbs in it, and it's just freaking delicious. You can get it at Trader Joe's. I've tried, I think it's the Annie's brand, but this has a better flavor, I think. So if you guys haven't checked this out before, check it out, try it. It'll be delicious on this. So that's it. That's my dinner. I have not had anything to eat all day except for that shake that you saw me eat earlier. And it is about 7.30. It's really late. And I'm super hungry. So I am going to smother this with dressing and I'm gonna eat up so alright I'll see you guys later